This is the apparatus we have for determining the so-called big G gravitational force constant that was devised by uh, Cavendish. This is the, a variation of the Griffin and George apparatus, which is now Fisher. We have two large spheres, which are 7.6 uh, kilograms approximately, which are resting on a platform, and uh, you have this housing which has a, a torsion wire mounted to a dumbbell, which has a mirror on it. A laser shines a light onto the mirror, and this is reflected onto a scale. Slight, they're shown slightly separated. Yeah. Um, these spheres are earthed to prevent any electrostatic build-up which would affect the results. What happens is you take a reading of the zero position in one orientation where they're diagonally left and right and the gravitation is pulling one way. You then move the two heavy spheres try not to disturb the apparatus as much as you can and the deflection of the dumbbell is noted this takes quite some time I have here a second set of apparatus, which is mounted on an ordinary uh, retort stand. The retort stand here is able to be adjusted so that the torsion beam, uh, the torsion wire, is central and perpendicular to the um, plane of the dumbbells. As you can see, what you have is the dumbbells on a reasonably long wire, uh, long rod. You'll need to make a note of that distance. There is a vein which has the silk front silvered mirror on it, which is dipping into a reservoir of silicon oil, which allows greater damping. And if I lift this up, you can see that the this will tend to want to turn, and there is a knob on the top here which is used to zero the um, balance so it's just the uh, dumbbell so they're as close as possible into the uh, zero position. Um, I'm, as you can see, earthing the uh, whole apparatus to the um, gas taps to make as good as a earth as I can. The tape here is aluminium tape, the sort of thing you have on uh, the air conditioning units. <laughs>